This is Contract from Below. This is our counter spell tier list. We're going to start it off nice and fast. Mandadrain S. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is like one of the best cards ever printed. It's right. two mana. You take care of something and immediately get mana back on your investment. Yeah. All right, what do you think of the worse version of it? The spell swindle. I think it's C tier, probably. Yeah. Is it C tier by comparison, or is it C tier because it's C tier? It's five mana. How about the other five mana one, Mystic Confluence? I think it's honestly an A. It's it, so versatility really makes it a powerful card. I think that the downside of holding up a five mana counter spell and like just if nobody casts anything that you want to counter, you held up five mana and you did nothing. The fact that you can just draw three cards is like it solves the issue. Fierce Guardianship. This is S, right? It's an S tier. I mean, it's a zero mana counter spell. Yeah, it's just it's so good. Uh, what happens if you have to uh, pay mana for negate? So just negate. <laughs> I would say B. Really? I was gonna say C. All right, will tiebreaker. So I I put it. Oh man, B or C? That's a hard choice. I think C. Because I think you're only ever gonna be running negate if you've run out of other better options for counter spells. That's what I'm thinking. That's true. I just think there are a lot of uh, powerful cards in Commander that aren't uh, creature spells, and I enjoy countering those. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. All right. How about regular counter spell? I feel like this is the baseline, right? Just B. That's true. I would almost say it's an A. Really? I think counter spells are really good card. Honestly, I kind of, I'm kind of with you. All right. Uh, what about uh, my least favorite card, uh, Arcane Denial? <laughs> I think definitely F or D for sure. Oh, sense. you're being too harsh. You get cards. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> if you counter a spell, if you cast a spell and I counter a spell, we're both down one card. If you cast a spell and I arcane denial it, I'm card neutral. You're up one. We're not on parity. I'm behind. I don't know what my instance to set me behind on cards. That's, that's a terrible place to be with a blue spell. <laughs> Right, what about Forbid? I think Forbid's a solid C card. It's good in its niche, but it doesn't have much versatility outside of that. I agree. You have to be built around it. All right, let's get another S tier real quick. Uh, Force of Will? Yeah, that's a good magic card. Yeah. And that's the end of it. S tier. Uh, Force of Negation? I'm also going to put an S. I think so. I mean, any card. zero mana counter spell is just so powerful. All right, what about... um? Swan Song. S. S. I, I agree. Swan Song is one of goal. my, if not my favorite counter spell. Damn. I mean, honestly, it's really good. It's, if you don't have a Swan Song, you should pick one up. Yeah. How about the new one mana counter spell? An offer you can't refuse. Yeah, one blue negate, but they get two treasure tokens. I think that's really good. Right? It's obviously worse than. Uh, the swan song because the two two is worse than two mana yeah but i think it's i think i would put it in b tier yeah i think that's a pretty solid uh baseline for what our b tier should look like i think b tier might even be too generous oh i really don't like two treasure tokens just for color fixing that's true i didn't think about that also with how many treasure things are coming out lately people have a lot of treasure synergies like this it might not just be two mana they could play a professional facebooker and draw cards off of this too. That's actually good. That's point. a good point. I think a C is probably a pretty fair spot for that. We gotta Although, find a B I think tier. Definitely the the <laughs> higher end of the C tier. All right, fluster store. This is the one that's blue, blue, red. Counter a you know counter target spell. It's uncounterable and it has overload for blue, blue, red one. So it can counter everything uncounterably. I think it's an A. It's so it's really powerful in those counter wars because it's uncounterable. It, it just handles anything for three mana and they can't do anything about it. But then also it has those super niche cases where you can use it to counter the entire stack. And it, that added versatility is so awesome. Okay, Whirlwind Denial. 
Blue and two counter all spells and abilities on the stack unless its controller pays four. I mean, the, the added stifle's really good. I'll, I'll say that much. Right? That, that might be our first B tier. What do you think of Summer Dismissal? It's just a... It's just Whirlwind Denial, but it exiles everything, but it costs one more mana. I think it's a B as well. I think so too. Yeah. It's a get out of jail free card. Right? It doesn't matter what's going on on the stack. Summer Dismissal just exiles everything there, and you just don't have to worry about it anymore. It's also a super underrated card that I think I most blue decks should be playing. I agree. All right, now we got Pyroblast slash Red Elemental Blast. Ooh. I think this is an A. I, I, I think, think it's, it's an, an A for sure. Like Red Elemental Blast is an A. I, if I'm remembering it correctly, I disagree. Oh, it's but counter target blue spell or destroy or, target blue permanent for one red man. Now, I mean, little, the, for the one red that is that you don't play red, so you don't understand how good this is. <laughs> this is true, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're just it's been a player. while since I've played red. I don't put it in every red deck. It's more mono red, so it's kind of niche. I'd be maybe I'll move it to B. I, I think, think it's it, a, I, no. I think it goes A, a. because any red deck that you're playing, it is a strong contender. That's true. It That's is, true. You know, it's a it's generally an inclusion. I wonder That's a good point. other non-blue counter spell I have here. Uh, Withering Boon. Black and one, counter target creature spell, and you also have to pay three life to cast it. It's like D. <laughs> I don't think that card's very good. <laughs> no, I... Oh. It's gonna get D only because of it being in black. Otherwise, it would have gone straight to F. Yeah. yeah. I mean, black and you gotta... You gotta remember, in black, you can just kill the creature once it lands. This is one of the few ways to stop ETBs in black, though. Other yeah, than but... Torpor or... Yeah, but it's kind of cringe, though. <laughs> uh, can we put Pack the Negation in S tier? Um, I mean, it's... yeah. Alright, what about uh, Render Silent? Blue, blue, white, counter-target spell. Its controller can't cast spells for the rest of the turn. I think it's like a D. If it's used on something small at the beginning, you are essentially just looking at three mana. Nothing can happen on the board uh, other than what's already on it for the next turn. But you also Honestly, just paid three mana to counter something small. So here's the thing. is, If they were only going to cast one big thing and it's uh, enough of a threat that you counter it, then you counter it and it's like a three mana counter spell. If they were going to cast multiple things... You countered, you took one big thing out of their hand, and then time walked them. Okay. Alright, what do you think about a uh, disallow? I like disallow a lot. Me too. I think it's a B. I think it's a B too. I think it's like top of B. I... Yeah, I think this card is extremely versatile. It will never... Mm -hmm. it, it will handle a lot of really tough situations for you. Yeah. But it is three mana, so... It's not, like, in every deck, but I love to have a disallow in my hand. Alright, what about uh, Insidious Will? Oh, man, I'm blanking on my name. I don't know, Will. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's given me a bad name. Hell yeah. Versatile for the four mana that it is. It's, it's, a, it's a C from me. Yeah, it's such I have a done... bad disallow, but it can copy spells. I've done one cool thing with Insidious Will in my life, and I don't know. I I copied a war, a war of invention to get uh, Torrential Gear Hulk to flash back Insidious Will to counter their uh, war of invention. That's hilarious. But uh, other than that, it's been just a counter spell. Yeah. Or four mana. I've copied an expropriate with it once. That was cool. That's pretty hot. I, th but that's why I think it's a great C to your card because if you do cool stuff with it, it's pretty hot. That's like, uh, you know, forbid. Yeah. All right. What about um, Archmage's Charm? It's S. Really S. Yeah. I mean, you can steal soul rings. It yeah. draws cards. It kills, not yeah. kills. It, it counter spells. It it's yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> if you're if you can 
pay triple blue, you should be playing Archmage's Charm. Yeah, you have to be heavy blue to like afford to play because of the triple blue. Construct. Actually, actually, I might be have been over ambitious. I think it's A for that reason alone. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I guess so. If you're even even if you're not in mono blue, it is it is tricky. Yeah, so yeah. Th- I I think it's a insanely strong card, but it is costed in kind of a kind of a tricky way. What about muddle in the mixture? Only counters it's as a sorceries, but it has transmute, so you can pay three to discard it and grab a different two CMC spell. I think it's B. Yeah, that's a solid B, I think. Yeah, I think you have to have a combo with it to be relevant, but here's the thing is like at two mana you can get demonic tutor, so it can essentially become anything. You can get dock side so it can ramp you. You can grab Isochron Scepter, Dramatic Reversal, Thassa's Oracle, like... I think if you have a 2-drop in your deck that you are looking for actively, it's really good. Uh, Otherwise, it's not a great counterspell. Here's a great counterspell, Dobbin's Veto. This is like A tier, right? Uh, I would almost say S tier. I'm going to recommend S tier. Yeah. I think Dobbin's Veto is an insane magic card. Yeah, I'm voting S on that one. Too many times have I been stopped by that. These two are not really counter spells. We got Commandeer, which is seven mana, gain control of a spell, but you can exile two blue cards from your hand to cast it for free. It's D. It's like D tier. Or maybe F tier. <laughs> it's mean, really... Totally put it on the it was your just pick. to put it in like F tier. <laughs> yeah, it's a very funny <laughs> magic card. It, it but it's funny. like... It's pretty bad. Gain, I don't know. Do, gaining control of someone's expropriate by paying zero mana is like a very funny thing to do to somebody. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah, no, it is bad. I'm like, I'm not like, disagreeing with you. I just think it's funny that like before we started, you were like, I had commandeered to the list. And then as soon as we get to it, you're like, it sucks. Well, it, it yeah, it does. <laughs> but I want more people to know about this card. So it's okay. on the list. And my personal favorite card on this list, also not really a counter spell, but Narset's Reversal. Okay, so Narset's Reversal copies an instant of sorcery on the stack and then bounces that to its owner's hand. This card's insane. This card's uh, insane. Yeah. absolutely insane. Because you get to essentially remand a spell and make a copy of it, but you can also use it on your own spells. You can copy of the spell that they're trying to Davin's veto. Yes, if somebody's trying to Davin's veto your spell, yeah, exactly. Even better. Yeah, you just as long as it's an instant or sorcery, you can bounce it back. I'm sold. A tier. It's, so it's... <laughs> it, it rocks. Yeah. I think that's a pretty accurate list. I think this is a pretty accurate list, yeah. I would be interested, if people disagree with our placements, I'd be interested to hear it in the, in the comments. I, I'm sure you're going to have some people saying that Arcane Denial should be ranked higher. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Can I throw an honorable mention in that I'd like to see where you two would place? Okay, yeah. This? Get rid of it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Is it is a permanent, and Muldrotha likes permanence. Bro, this is... Uh, sure, I guess in Muldrotha <laughs> it's kind of fun, but, like, this card's, like... F tier. F tier otherwise. Like, uh, this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> hey, Emerald Drotha, why don't you play Decree of Science? I keep telling him to put it in the freaking deck. I mean, it's 8 mana, but, like, this is hilarious in Emerald Drotha, right? You just you yeah. cycle it, and then you cast it later, and you're like, screw you, and I'll just cast it again, right? Yeah, Decree of Silence is a B tier card. Just kidding, it's not that good. No, it's probably it's like good. <laughs> <laughs> But you make a lot of mana in Muldrotha, so like you can actually like, Oh control. far too much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, how do I do an outro? What am I doing? Uh you should you should do like a Rick and Morty reference. You should yeah, do and then do a cartwheel, but off like without the camera on so we just hear it. Yeah, you should be like, I'm I'm pickle con and then <laughs> Okay. Don't do that. I'm just going to leave that audio in and that will be the outro.